Hi everyone, welcome to deploying Bitbucket data center in a clustered architecture. In this video, we'll walk through the benefits, infrastructure components, and what it takes to successfully deploy Bitbucket data center in a clustered architecture. While this video focuses on deploying on your own hardware, you can also deploy data center in a cluster and use a cloud provider to host your infrastructure. To learn more, check out the AWS and Azure resources we've provided. Now back to today's video. Before we get into the deployment architecture, here's a reminder of the benefits of a clustered approach. Starting with high availability. Ensuring high availability is critical when your teams rely on Bitbucket to get their work done. If one node in your cluster goes down, the others take on the load. Ensuring your teams have uninterrupted access to Bitbucket. Then we have performance at scale. Each node that is added to your cluster increases concurrent user capacity and improves response time as user traffic grows. Then there's easy scalability, which allows you to add new nodes to your cluster without downtime or additional licensing fees. And finally, the ability to deploy on an offsite disaster recovery system, even in the event of a complete system outage. Shared application indexes can get you back up and running quickly. While most data center deployments have the same components, Bitbucket Data Center is unique because it requires an elastic search node that enables search across your entire instance. Some of you may already be familiar with the components of a clustered architecture, but for those that aren't, here's a quick overview of each component of Bitbucket Data Center and how it supports your instance. The load balancer distributes user requests across your cluster to minimize response time and ensure high availability by sending traffic only to the nodes that are online. You can use a load balancer of your choice, but it must be on a dedicated machine have a high-speed LAN connection, support HTTP, HTTPS, and TCP mode, support session affinity, also known as sticky sessions, that ensures that each user's request will go to the same node during a session to prevent any loss of information. If you don't have a preference for your load balancer, we offer instructions for HAProxy, a popular open source software load balancer in our resources. And finally, while you have the flexibility to choose a load balancing algorithm that works best for your organization, we do recommend that you ensure that you have administrative access to each node behind the load balancer for maintenance purposes and to configure your load balancer to frequently monitor the status of each node. Monitoring the health of each node will ensure that the load balancer can redirect traffic when necessary. The application nodes are where Bitbucket Data Center is actually running. All cluster nodes must be on a dedicated machine, physical or virtual, be located in the same data center, be connected in a high-speed LAN, have the same operating system, Java and application server version, have the same memory configuration and be configured with the same time zone and keep the current time synchronized. Then we have the remote elastic search node that enables code search. Although code search is not critical for high availability, it is possible to run a cluster of elastic search nodes to achieve high availability for the code search index. The easiest way to set up and deploy an elastic search cluster for the bucket data center is to use Amazon's elastic search service. But you can also set up a remote elastic search instance on your own hardware. Then we have our shared file system. The Bucket Data Center requires a high performance shared file system, such as a SAN, NAS, or RAID server, or a high performance file server optimized for IO. The shared file system must run on a dedicated machine, be available to all cluster nodes via a high speed LAN connection, and accessible via NFS as a single mount point. And finally, we have the shared database that all nodes read and write to. Like the load balancer, we allow you to choose a database that best meets the needs of your team. We currently support PostgreSQL, Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server Express, Oracle, H2, and Amazon Aurora. For teams that are currently using MySQL, a database that's not supported in a clustered architecture, due to inherent deadlocks that can occur in this database engine at a high load, we recommend migrating to a support database such as PostgreSQL before beginning your journey to a clustered architecture. Making the database switch early also allows you to take advantage of our database migration wizard. This feature is only available to server data set of customers running on a single node. Now let's move on to setting up your Bitbucket data center cluster. Once you've purchased a data center license, you can go into your admin console, navigate to licensing, and edit your license with the new key. At this point in the process, you've successfully migrated from a Bitbucket server instance to a non-clustered data center instance. You've unlocked access to enterprise-grade features like advanced auditing, rate limiting, and smart mirroring. To learn more about our non-cluster architecture, check out our resources. For everyone else that's ready to build their cluster, start by provisioning your shared database. Unlike with server data center on a non-cluster architecture, clustered approach requires an external database. Once you've provisioned your shared database, you can begin setting up your shared file system. This file system will have to be accessible via NFS as a single mount point and have the NFS lock service enabled. Now that your file system and database are configured, you can begin your journey of migrating data from your Bitbucket server instance. 
We recommend that before you make steps to migrate your data, you make sure the shared subdirectory of your Bipocket server home directory and database are backed up. Once your data is backed up, restore on the new Bipocket Data Center's NFS system you've created. You can provision your Elasticsearch node on a remote machine. If you want additional guidance on how to install Elasticsearch, refer to our resources. Once the installation is complete, configure Elasticsearch YAML file to work with Data Center and secure the node with the username and password. Bitbucket only requires a minimum of HTTP access, but we recommend securing your remote instance with a security plugin that requires anyone connecting to it to provide authentication credentials. We recommend using our free plugin, Bucker, or Elastic Shields plugin for this purpose. Lastly, you'll need to configure your instance to connect Bitbucket using the Bitbucket properties file in the Bitbucket Home Directly shared directory. You need to add the appropriate details about your Elasticsearch instance, save and close a file. Note that any parameters set in the Bitbucket properties file cannot be edited later in the admin UI. All changes need to be made within this file. Now you're ready to provision your cluster node infrastructure. This process starts by configuring your file share mounts. On each cluster node, mount the shared home directory. All other directories should be node local and private to each node. Then you'll want to make sure to synchronize system clocks with an identical time zone configuration. Now you can install the bucket data center on each node using the latest installer and make sure the installer is executable. Then run the installer using sudo to create a dedicated account to run Bitbucket as a service. Follow the prompts to install Bitbucket. You can also automate this process by using a configuration management tool such as Chef, Puppet, or Vagrant, and or by spinning up identical virtual machine snapshots. We also offer Ansible playbooks that can be found in our resources to help you get up and running as quickly as possible. Once you've installed Bitbucket Data Center on all your application nodes, you can start the first cluster node. The code for this process can be found in our resources. Now we're ready to install and configure your load balancer. As we previously mentioned, you can choose the load balancer that best suits the needs of your organization, as long as it abides by our earlier requirements, namely the ability to support session affinity, as well as the ability to support HTTP, HTTPS, and TCP protocols. If your load balancer supports health checks of the cluster nodes, configure it to perform a periodic check. Once that's complete, you can add a new Bitbucket application node to the cluster by turning on Bitbucket Data Center from your installation directory. Once Bitbucket has started, you can now go back into your admin console and verify that the new node you have started up has successfully joined the cluster. Once you're all set, you can then connect your cluster node to the load balancer. This will be different based on the vendor you choose, so please refer to the documentation on how to set this up. And that's it, we've successfully deployed Bitbucket in a clustered environment. If you're interested in seeing the step-by-step -step documentation for this process, or if you're ready to download a free trial, check out our resources.